Moving on to the ninth on the programme, and the second last is a class three over the 1600 metres with a debutante here, but California on debut. Ran 12th of 14 behind Celestial Power. King Opie takes the class drop, hasn't been in form this uh, season. Four starts without a place. Perfect to great. A1 looking great. All still entered in the derby. Piano Solo makes his Hong Kong debut. A maiden, though, out of uh, Ireland, raced under the same name. Authentic champ up in class. Won two of his last three starts. Casemiro's won two of his last four, but disappointing last amount. Leading Fortune up in class for a last start win. A telecom fight has been going around at a big price, but only beaten two lengths by Super Football last time out at Hang's decision. The nine year old with Keith Young from Barrier number eight. He is a winner this season. California 10 and King Opie. Spent some time at uh, Chung Fa Tom. What are we looking at here at the speed map? Well, Beauty Day, he's a horse that uh, goes forward and uh, will look to uh, run the race to suit himself. Uh, Matthew Poon aboard uh, the Beno Young train to gallop. A legion of merit uh, might go forward. He was handy last time out, but in the end was beaten nearly 20 lengths. Uh, looking great, having start number two, he's drawn gate number two. Telecom Fighters, gate number six, that might allow him to be a bit close to the action this time round. He has been closer in the past, and then there's a whole log jam towards the rear there, including, including California 10, leading Fortune Perfect Great, and A1, the odd one, out. Perfect to great, ran well at his last start when he ran fourth behind Super Football. He's come out of that race with no issues, and look, he goes comfortably in his track work as well. And uh, he's got Joe Marrera aboard as well, uh, barrier number nine to contend with there. Uh, looking great, only had the one start, ran really well on debut, I thought, when he ran a nice fifth. Uh, Zach Purden aboard, that's him 53 closest to us. He's gone really well in his work uh, since, so he's definitely come on from that uh, debut run. The horse here we're having a look at is Piano Solo. He's a first starter. He's had six trials. First starter in Hong Kong. He did race in Ireland. Uh, 11.64 pounds. The cross nose band and the tongue tie with Christoph Sumi on board. So he's the one at the back there. OK, and uh, the other horse we'll see in the last race, uh, in actual fact. We're going to start off uh, here, though, with looking great to Tom. This was his uh, debut behind Royal Bomb, who ran well at Happy Valley midweek. Gets up from the 14 to the 1,600 metres. Yeah, it was a nice run from him on this occasion. The, the red and white colours uh, there, he um, got back sort of on the rail there and uh, was had a, a good enough uh, midfield run. Now, he did win over 1,600 metres on the, the Sunshine Coast in Australia and he has trialled well uh, coming into this race after this good debut, Paul. Yeah, I, I like him. This, I think stepping up to 1,600 looks good for him by Holy Roman Emperor and it was a, a nice run, so there's definitely been an improvement from start one to two. OK, well, an authentic champ, even Paul, has been racing a great heart, uh, winning twice in Class 4, then runner-up last time out, uh, comes into Class 3 now for the first time. Yeah, the key was winning this horse. Uh, they put the blinkers on and they came to Chartin, and it's really worked uh, really well for him. He's won uh, two of his last three here at uh, Chartin. And uh, another good run from him. He, he sort of came out wide. They looked like he was going to win. Then Charity Grace popped through the inside. But Charity Grace has come out and been very unlucky in his next start as well. So I think the form will stack up. Yeah, I think uh, authentic, authentic Champ can go on and do something here again. I like him in this uh, race. He got well back, hit the front of Fairway out, out wider, and uh, just got uh, uh, run over late there. Of course, Paul referencing Charity Grace has since come out and run second, but uh, really do like him in this race. OK, that's Authentic Champ then. What about Beauty Day? Uh, Tom, perfect um, to great. This was a better effort from him after a couple of below par runs. Telecom Fighters and Casemiro. Yeah, so he's uh, running behind uh, Super Football at last time out to uh, this horse and out of this race. The horse in the yellow and the red out wide of Savick when has since come out and uh, won now. He was in front here. He tried to kick in the strength, built up a, a bit of a gap, but uh, was collared over the, the final stages. Uh, not a bad run either from perfect to great. He had to weave his way through, Paul. And thought Telecom Fighters in the blue colours out wider. I didn't think it was the worst of runs either, so I'd be keeping him safe. Yeah, he's on the improved. Uh, Beauty Great looks the only leader in this race, so I think that's quite interesting for him. I didn't want to leave him out for that reason. I think he's got a good chat. All right, yeah, there's a lot of early money for him uh, as well. But leading fortune, the last one we'll look at, uh, Paul, this was uh, beating Cheerful Days. We spoke about Cheerful Days uh, earlier on. Um, but he has barrier 12 here as he gets into this grade for the first time. Look, the horse is going well. There's no doubt he's been consistent. Uh, he'll get back, he'll run on. I thought he had the race perfectly to suit here and he had the, the horse to chase and who was in the headlights and did manage to run him down. So look, he's going to find this a little bit uh, trickier, but I didn't want to completely leave him out. I've got him in. He really sprinted sharply over those uh, final stages there too. We call it cheerful days. The horse in the green and white colours down on the fence. Their Pakistan friend has since come out and won at a, a big price. I left him out in the end, but uh, the way he finished off uh, there, he'll be needing to do that again this time round with that draw. Mm. Oh, well, not quite as open as the previous race, uh, Paul. Telecom Fighters is still our favourite, though. Yeah, look, I haven't got him in, Telecom Fighters. I I've left him out of this. I I I'm going to go with the horse that's only had the one start in Hong Kong, which is looking great. 
think up to 1,600 metres with uh, Zach sticking with him. Uh, looks ideal for this horse. Beauty day from the front. And if they leave him alone, uh, he's uh, yet to... He's only, sorry, he's only won the once from his uh, 25 starts, but he has had seven seconds, so he's quite consistent. Uh, authentic champs in great form at the moment, and then leading fortune. So five, seven, eight, and 12. Eight and, my, and five, my cue for this particular race. Authentic champ who goes in on top four of Vincent Ho and uh, Jimmy Ting. He's racing really well at the moment. Think he can chalk up another victory. Looking great. Should be able to improve from that first up run. Telecom Fighters, it stands out to Alex Lai last uh, three races. Karis Teton on board to uh, here. Form's been OK out of the race and I thought ran well. And there's money for him early. And perfect to great. Liked his run as well. Also coming out of that same race behind Super Football. So eight, five, 13 and three. All right. Five and seven, my cue there in race nine. Looking great and a beauty day, the one, two. Means there's one more race to go. Race number 10 plus all the best bets. That comes up next.